Hello and welcome to Words and Numbers. In this video, we will talk about the area of triangle in Cartesian coordinate system. So this is XY plane. There are three points X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3, Y3 and they will form a triangle. The area of this triangle is given by this formula which is half of determinant of this matrix X1, Y1, 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 1 you can also perform row operations and write this formula like this okay so in this video what we are going to do is to know exactly how this formula works how this determinant is related to the area of this triangle okay one way to understand this is to do some constructions in this graph and obtain this formula for this triangle the formula is nothing but the expansion of this determinant so in this way you can relate the determinant as the area of this triangle if you are satisfied by this method then that's okay but what we're going to do in this video is to know why this determinant is felt necessary to write here we will know more directly uh, in a more beautiful way how this determinant represents the area of this triangle without the expansion of this determinant all right so to go into this method you will need to already have an idea of how a matrix does a linear transformation of a grid and the meaning of determinant so if you are a nepali then tapaile maile banai sakeko chu yo dui ta topic ma video pehila tyo video herera uh, further agadi move on over when it's all either but if you do not understand nepali then i will recommend a channel which is three blue one brown which is on youtube first go watch and get the concepts on these two topics before moving forward so if you already know how matrix does linear transformation and what is the meaning of determinant then we can go ahead all right just to give you a quick revision of what determinant means here is a 3D space and there are three basic unit vectors i, z and k. These three unit vectors will form a cube whose volume is one cubic units. Let us suppose a matrix like this does a linear transformation on this uh, 3D space and transforms this space into something like this. So the i, z, k vectors are transformed into these three vectors. Consequently, the cube is also transformed into a parallel pipette. So the determinant of the matrix which did this transformation is nothing but the volume of this parallel pipette. Determinant is the ratio of the volume of this parallel pipette to the volume of the original cube which is one unit right here the volume of this uh, parallel pipette is one that is why determinant is also one so in conclusion determinant is the value which represents uh, by how many times the volume in 3d space gets scaled after transformation all right so now let's talk about this determinant okay the matrix has three column vectors First one is x1, y1, 1. Second is x2, y2, 1. And third is x3, y3, 1. So there are three column vectors. All three column vectors have vertical component 1. All right. Here you can see that there are three points. We are concerned about the area formed by the triangle connecting these three points. So the column vectors that we just talked about are these, all right? So these three column vectors, which have a height of one unit. You can see that all three column vectors have height of one unit, all right? So now we have to understand that after transformation by that matrix the i z and k vectors 
are transformed into these three vectors all right so now we have to visualize the parallelopiped that is formed by these three vectors right the volume of that parallelopiped is nothing but the determinant of that matrix so let me uh, again draw what i have just said on this slide here are three points x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 1 and we are concerned about the area of the triangle that is formed by connecting these three points here is origin and the transformation of unit vectors are these the parallel pipette formed by these three vectors is this all right now we know that volume of this parallel pipette is given by this formula determinant of this matrix so bp is the volume of this whole parallel pipette we are concerned about the area of this triangle right which is a and you might remember from your geometry class that uh, volume of pyramid is given by one third of area of the base times its perpendicular height so here our triangular base is this triangle and apex is this origin the volume of this pyramid is given by one third of base area times perpendicular height here the perpendicular height is one you know why because this triangle which is base is parallel to xy plane one unit above the origin so one third of base area times height one is the volume of the pyramid with triangular base right so this is easy now let's move forward now let's look at the volume of pyramid with a rectangular base here the rectangle is this all right this rectangle and the apex of the pyramid is x2 y2 y1 this point all right so we have base as this rectangle and apex as this point so volume of that pyramid is given by one third of volume of this whole parallel pipette why because volume of this whole parallel pipette is area of this rectangular base times perpendicular height from this base area up to the apex right so you can easily see volume of the pyramid is one third of volume of parallel pipette now you can easily say that volume of pyramid with triangular base is half of the volume of pyramid with rectangular base right because we can also visualize the pyramid with triangular base uh, with base being this triangle okay and the perpendicular height from base to this apex is same uh, as perpendicular height of this rectangular based pyramid okay so this volume of pyramid with triangular base is half of the volume of pyramid with rectangular base so here one third is same so we can cancel this and write that area of the triangle that we are concerned with a is equal to half of volume of parallel pipette which is nothing but the determinant okay. so in this way with a little bit of imagination we can see that um, determinant can actually represent the area of triangle so this is how we can visualize this formula okay thank you for watching if you came this far then i really appreciate it if you like this video then you can subscribe to the channel to get more video like this from me and again thank you for watching bye bye